And I don't know where you've been, but you're gonna respect this courtroom. My life has proven that it's not about where you come from, it's about where you're going. From a jailed youth who had my record expunged to becoming the youngest judge elected. The Honorable Judge Greg Mathis presiding. In just 15 years. Ma'am, let me know when you want to go to rehab. Otherwise, I think you're a crackhead. Absolutely not. My goal is to inspire others to overcome their obstacles. You don't need him and his little raggedy roommate. Thank you. All while having a little fun on Mathis Court. You look like you're ready to lie right the first <laughs> word out your mouth. <laughs> this is Mathis Court with Judge Mathis. Julia and Francisco de Villa are suing Adonis Dracos in the amount of $5,800. The de Villas claim their intimacy suffered after the birth of their baby and say this sex surrogate they hired to help their love life deceive them both. State your name? Francisco de Villa. But Julia de Villa. Sir? Adonis Dracos. All right. You are suing the defendant for a breach of contract regarding some sexual activity. Yes, Your Honor. Give me some background on how you know the man. Yes, Your Honor. I'm here today suing Adonis Dracos. For About a breach of contract for a breach for of sex. contract for $5,800. Who's the pimp then? He took advantage of my wife, Your Honor. Oh, okay. What ended up happening, I met my wife at Texas A&M, where we were both studying. I was in the library, I walked out, and I happened to lay my eyes on her, and I knew I had to talk to her, Your Honor. And from that day, I knew I had to marry her, Your Honor. We finished every sentence. We were always all together all the time. We had the same beliefs and values. I just knew he was going to be my husband, my only one. What a beautiful thing. Then what? Fast forward, Your Honor. We had a, our first daughter, Anna. So from there, our relationship took a hit. It took a damage. Having a daughter is a beautiful thing, but it made us get into more arguments. It was the stress of taking care of a child, and I just felt this drifting apart, Your Honor. How many months after the delivery of the child, of your daughter, did you all start having conflicts, and who, uh, what were the nature of those conflicts? Ma'am, you wanna address so that? So after I had birth with Anna, um, during the pregnancy, it was very an easy pregnancy, but after I started to feel um, withdrawal, postpartum depression. I didn't know how to voice it upon Francisco, so it was more internal. However, I noticed that our intimacy and our lovey-doveyness was kind of fading apart. My wife and I had only slept with each other four times in the past two years, and that's because I wanted to. She wouldn't really let me touch her. She wouldn't initiate any physical contact. A friend recommended me a sex surrogate website, and for me, that was out of the norm. But I had to take a risk, Your Honor. I'm a family man. So I reached out to Mr. Dracos, who assured me that he could ignite the relationship and bring back the sparks and bring it back to what it once was, By Your freaking Honor. off with your wife. That's what ended up happening, but that's not I what know, happened well, at first. I know, it is. If you share your wife with some man, y'all freaking off. Now, if she cheating on you, that's a different thing. That's behind your back. You don't know. But if you offering up your wife, you freaking. Let's freak off. Were you with him? Your Honor. Were you part of it? I was, was part it of it. Was it a threesome? No, Your Honor. Well, Your Honor, if, well, I could ex well. if I could explain it. If I could explain, please, Your Honor. He told me that three months would bring our relationship back to what it was. I trusted the man. We gave him our trust. Let me hear from you now. I'll get back to you. Go ahead. Tell me. Your Honor, I'm the Adonis Dracos, like you heard. Adonis? I'm Adonis. I have a Greek background. I'm a sex surrogate. I know it's not the most normal occupation, so let me elaborate a bit. Now, be a sex sir, don't you, you're a sex fiend too, then. You have to have sex on the, a lot, right? Uh, I do. With different people. Not with every couple, but not with, with different every client. people. I do. I have experience right, well, in life. I'm a sex fiend. Anybody that's having a lot of sex with a lot of people a lot of time is a sex fiend. Now, go ahead. What else you want to tell me about yourself? I enjoy that. I like to bring pleasure to other people's relationships. Other people's women? Couples. It depends on the contract and the session What's we your agree contract on that. Say? With them, we had the contract for three months, twice a week, uh, two sessions twice a week with for who? three months. With both of the... With both of them? Yeah, Julia All right, so and Francisco de Silva. Sessions Silver. with the two of them? Correct. All right, freaking off! Your Honor, the difference is that uh, the clients come to me, I have a business online, and I don't pick the people, the, uh, the clients pick me. 
and then I take care of, of their... Take care of their what? I will let you know right now. Why are you, yeah, I, why are you staring? Take care I, of what? I coach them sexually. Uh, not everybody is a sex expert. It's not the same with people having sex after pregnancy. Uh, women, uh, you have to show them how much you love them. You have to emphasize on everything. And that's Intercourse. part of your job, too, is to show how much you love them. And love is no, an emotion. No, I encourage the husband to show the appreciation towards his wife. Oh, with spend different time positions on intercourse. or something. So you sit there and watch and say, woman over here, flip now, flip, spin around, spin around. Men like it when you spin around. Coming up on Mathis Court with Judge Mathis. So why didn't you just go to a therapist? Or yeah. even more so, why didn't you just turn on some porn? Your Honor. See if that worked for you. And later. You don't smoke crack? No, sir. Never? No, sir. I'm not a crackhead, Your Honor. I've been really good to my sister. All right, you ain't got to be a crackhead. Maybe you just tried it once. If you'll be in the Los Angeles area and want to bring your case to court, call 1-888-552-6870. You're watching Mathis Court with Judge Mathis. This is Mathis Court with Judge Mathis. Mathis Court is back with the case of Julia and Francisco de Villa, who are suing Adonis Dracos for breach of contract. So why didn't you just go to a therapist? Or yeah. even more so, why didn't you just turn on some porn? Your Honor. See if that worked for you. I know the method was unorthodox, but like I told you prior, two years, only had sex with my wife four times. It, I was a desperate man. I had to save my family. Y'all should have went to a doctor then and not Dr. Love. You well, should have went to a therapist. What he said was partially true, but he left out very important details. He coached us the first month, but during the second month, is when he just pitched me the idea, I think it would be beneficial for your relationship if I started sleeping with your wife. He assured me that the results would come after those three months. I gave him my trust that he could bring back our relationship to what it once was. Did you get references, maybe? Did you talk to other he couples? He had good reviews, Your Honor. He had, well, a, yeah. I think right. he had a 4.7, so I, okay. I trusted what I saw. 4.8. Yeah, well, you should get two stars now. Shouldn't get any stars. Your Honor. You look pretty happy right now. No, I'm not. Your Honor, please. This man has no honor. But that's the besides the point. The second month he tries, he doesn't try. He sleeps with my wife after I sleep with her. By the third month, I realized that we weren't really making much progress. It wasn't what it once was. So I was firm on my decision and told him his services were no longer needed. Mm -hmm. From there, he starts sending her texts. He starts reaching out to me and saying, how are you doing, Francisco? Um, you know, he was hoping we'd do more sessions um, if, because we were making so much progress. Your Honor, your Honor I, I got the evidence, evidence if I may yes, present yes, it. Please, Andrew. Thank, Thank you. you. I responded to him saying, nice to hear from you. Things are okay with, and sex with Francisco is a lot better, but not as better as when you were coaching us. Um, because in reality, it wasn't the same. However, I felt more confident and felt more myself when he was there. He was coaching and catering to my body and So you enjoy the peep freak? Not in the way of him, more the fact that he was coaching my husband. Because that's they call it, the formal word is voyeur. But in the community, they call it peep freak. In my defense, I always text the clients because as you understand, we have a closer relationship than a regular therapist. I'm, I'm a sex surrogate, so we come very close. We come friendly. All right, stop all the pretty words. Let me ask for one question. He texted her, and then what? And she responded, responded. Oh, I need you, because otherwise it ain't right. He reached out to me to meet up with him at his home around 7 p.m., and I was very skeptical about it because I would never... What did your husband honey... say when you were saying, I'm on the way over to get a private session? He what told did me he not say? to tell my husband, so I kept Pardon it a me? secret. He told me to keep it Your Honor, he a secret. He coerced her into going Hold to on. his place without my oh. knowledge. In the text, you could clearly see he says, Francisco doesn't need to know. So I had no idea. She told me she And was... she complied with his request not to tell you her husband. All right, let's get to you, sir. Uh, what else you want to tell me? Your Honor, I have some evidence of my business. And may I present them, please? Yes. Thank you. To add to the previous, I, I signed a second contract, but this time was only with Julia. 
because you signed a contract with her alone a second contract yes, and did her husband know uh, not not that I think so, so. she hid that too not only did Correct. she hide the first time you all were together Correct. she didn't tell him admittedly so she came back a second time five times we signed a contract for five more times <laughs> for five more sessions no, and she came by herself no. Yes, what do you have to say, ma'am? Your Honor, so the yes. first session when I came back, mm -hmm. I was very skeptical because I wouldn't want to do something behind my husband's back, even though I did. He convinced me, thinking that if I don't learn how to please my husband, that he will resent me and that he will leave me and divorce me. So in my defense, I thought this was the best option at the time to help love him in the way that he needs to be loved. But learn I'm not buying that, ma'am. You straight up enjoyed him. Once your husband put you with him, you enjoyed it more than you did with your husband. And so you continue to go back over and over and over. I'm not listening to any of the game you're putting on your husband. Keep telling him that. Maybe he'll keep believing it. I don't. Not one second. So he didn't break anything. Your wife broke the laws of your marriage. That's yep. what was broken. You need to sue her. Your Honor, his ethical... Or divorce or do something. This man ain't done nothing but what his job is to do. His job is to have sex with people's wives and that's what he did. And the wife's uh, obligation to her husband, so you all say, is to have him a part of all of it. And instead, after a short time of you all being a part of it together, she ran off and continued to have sex with him repeatedly and signed a contract behind your back. Your claim is dismissed. Have a good day. Judge Mathis has ruled in favor of the defendant. The co-plaintiff's claim has been dismissed. There's a place in hell for you, you know that, right? Justice was served and I don't care for yeah, anything his, else. No, it was wrong, just like you. Coming up. We've tried everything, so I'm hoping your honor pleading that maybe you can knock some sense into her. I don't do no knocking sense into nobody. Maybe I can talk some sense into her. You're watching Mathis Court with Judge Mathis. This is Mathis Court with Judge Mathis. Shanice Calloway Henry is suing Denise Calloway in the amount of $750. Ms. Calloway Henry claims her sister purchased a baby stroller for her and says the defendant then stole it to pay for her drug habit. State your name. Hi, Your Honor. My name is Shanice Calloway Henry. Ma'am? Denise Calloway. All right, and you are suing uh, for $750 for a double stroller your sister gave you and then took it back without your permission, correct? That is correct. Your All Honor. right, start with you. I love my sister very, very much. Um, unfortunately, my sister's brand is the Five Finger Discount. She's no longer invited to she any dope of the- Dolphin or crackhead? Yes. yes, she is, Your Honor. How you know? <laughs> you don't smoke crack? No, sir. Never? No, sir. I'm not a crackhead, Your Honor. I've been really good to my sister. All right, you ain't got to be a crackhead. Maybe you just tried it once. No, no, y'all. In all seriousness, when did she start uh, the path of uh, destruction? Your Honor, we've been through a lot as a family. Um, she was there during my miscarriage and was there and supportive of me and purchased this baby stroller. I was surprised that she was able to afford it, being that she's known to steal things from everyone in the family. And I just want her to receive the help she needs. We've tried everything. So I'm hoping, Your Honor, pleading, that maybe you can knock some sense into her. I don't do no knocking <laughs> sense into nobody. Maybe I can talk some sense into her. Coming up. I'm not an addict, Your uh, Honor. I do have pain. You do have pain. We all have pain, Your Honor. No, I feel fine. You're watching Mathis Court with Judge Mathis. This is Mathis Court with Judge Mathis. Mathis Court is back with the case of Shanice Calloway Henry, who was suing her sister, Denise Calloway, for theft. I can't take your word over hers. That's a pretty inflammatory allegation. She admits to it. 
Every single thing you ask her yes. about. Ma'am, did you admit to any of these things? No, Your Honor. I admitted to my sister that I took back the stroller that she is now suing me And that's me what over. she's suing Stole you about. You tell me about it. Let me get some background from you. And first, you can start out by saying, uh, my name is Denise and I'm not an addict. Yes, that's right, Your Honor. My name is Denise Calloway. I am my sister Shawnee's older sister. And I'm an addict. And I'm not an addict, Your oh. Honor. I do have pain, but other than that, Your Honor, I've been a wonderful sister. Oh, 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 oh. you do have pain. We all have pain, Your Honor. No, I feel fine. She admitted to stealing, Your Honor, and where's her prescription? Stealing the stroller, that's what she said. She yes, took it Honor. back. What'd you take it back for? I took it back because it was a constant reminder for my sister of what we lost, the baby that she lost. And every oh, so day the stroller was for the child so, that was Yes, lost. sir, it was a double stroller. And you, told, and you discussed it with her, obviously. You said, sister, this is a bad Absolutely reminder. Not. Do you mind if I take it back? I thought I was doing her a favor. It wasn't being used, so I took what I bought and went How did went you discover it was gone? So and then what happened after that? I went to the garage to do an inventory of the previous baby stuff that we have to see what we could use for this baby. And lo and behold, the one item that my sister bought is missing. And my sister has not been supportive throughout this entire pregnancy. During the miscarriage, she was nowhere to be found. She was nowhere to be found for how many days? Almost a year, Your Honor. I was in pain, Your Honor. We had just lost the baby. I was with my sister through all of that. She had her husband, she had my nephew, she got dogs. I didn't have nobody but my pain and the loss. So I had to do what was best for me. And her problems. What does that mean? Do what was best for you? you I needed drugs? to get away, you know? Like I said, oh, she get had get away. People. Where did you go for that year? Around. Dope fiend answers. Mm -hmm. You're right. I yeah. believe she's a drug addict now. Yes. Those type of answers. How will Judge Mathis rule? Find out when Mathis Court returns. You're watching Mathis Court with Judge Mathis. This is Mathis Court with Judge Mathis. You can say, well, I'm going to give you a stroller. And before you give it, you say, well, I don't think I'm going to do it after all. Nothing you can do. But if you give the item, which is what she did, time you transferred it, it was hers. She was the owner. So you came and stole an item from her. And I guess you weren't thinking straight, and you keep, continue to defend yourself, so I know I can't grant you any help for your addiction because you claim you don't have one, even though the way you've even behaved in here today has convinced me that she's right. What did you do with the stroller, by the way? Where is it? She sold it. Did you sell it? Yes, Your Honor. It was mine. I bought it. And you think, once again, with your dope fiend thoughts, that you can come and take something away that has been gifted to somebody else. You're still contending that. She you need rehab, ma'am. Let me know when you want to go to rehab. Otherwise, I think you're a crackhead. The she way you're acting, the way the things that she said and your responses has convinced me of that. Judge me for the plaintiff. Have a good day. Judge Mathis has ruled in favor of the plaintiff. The defendant has been ordered to pay $750. I love my sister very much, and I just want her to get help. I love my sister, too. I've always been there for her. I want to be there for the new baby. I hope we can work past this, because I did buy her a gift, like the judge said. This has been a production of Allen Media Group.